Hello, fellow YouTubers. This is your host, Game King Don B. What a Blender tutorial that should apply to all versions of Blender's game logic. You can download any 100% free open source version of Blender from Blender.org. Blender.index page where you can get an old version of Blender. This is my default version I've been using for a long time. Or upbge.com, which they restored, well, the game logic. And this is the version of Blender I'm using based off of version 2.79, but yours might be different. As long as it has the game logic, you're pretty much set. Have you always wanted to, you know, set up a dialogue option like you would find in the Fallout series, like Fallout New Vegas or any RPG games where you have dialogue trees and, and uh, you know, you ask a question and you get an answer, whether it's voiced or not? Well, in this video, I finally figured it all out. And like I said, it should apply to any and all versions of Blender, but I'm using this uh, version of Blender because it has the screencast keys. Don't forget to save. If you've changed around the interface of the program, it's always good to save. Save it as a startup file if you like. You check something on in user preferences, save user settings, and uh, so forth and so on. And Control plus S is your best friend. Depending on what kind of computer or laptop you're on, that might handle uh, different versions of Blender. So, yes, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. What I've done already is created a text and just left it as text. And over here, I created a text game property and left it as string. Now, what Blender is looking for, if you want to type in a message, is quotation marks. Without it, you'll get this message. So, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to remove these quotation marks before and after the word, how are you doing, or whatever. Now, I'm going to come over here and hit the embed player. And as you see, it says, how not found. So you need some kind of uh, quotation marks so that Blender can get the message. And you can type whatever you want. It's pretty cool. Now, I tried setting up a uh, mouse over click effect for these texts, but it doesn't seem to work. So we're going to need to use a mass object. For sure, you can make the mass object be behind that specific text. But we're going to be using a plane as a demonstration of what I'm talking about. I've already renamed it over here, select the box text. Now with the select the box text selected, we're going to go into the logic editor. Now I'm going to hit control plus up to work in just the logic editor. And from here, you can set up your controls any way you want to. I'm just going to be using mouse controls. All right, now we're going to switch this mouse event from left mouse to mouse over or mouse over any. Now we need two controllers. One for the mouse left click or whatever you set up your controls and the other one for the mouse over. Now we're going to wire the mouse left click to its controller as well as wiring the mouse over to its controller as well in the logic editor. That's simple! Now we need to crossfade these wires. So the mouse left click needs to be wired to the controller of the mouse over and the mouse over controller needs to be wired to the controller of the mouse left click effect so that when you hover your mouse over something you can be able to click on it pretty cool now I'm going to duplicate this so I'm gonna duplicate the object move it down Duplicate again, move it down, and now we have three select box texts or test or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm just showing you that you can finally set up dialogue options in the Blender game engine. Oh, cool. Now, all we have to do is click on our main text here with the logic property set up over here and so forth and so on, and then shift right click on our well selected box. Now, I'm going to hit control plus up so that we can see a little better in the logic editor now we have to do is just wire both controllers well to the property assign text to whatever you put as a messenger don't forget the quotation marks and now that we're all wired up I'm gonna hit control plus up so you can get a better look at what I'm doing as you see, I've set up a couple of messages over here under the main text, well, logic property. As you see, you've got, what are you doing? That's the main question. And here are the three answers, not to mentioning the quotation marks. Make sure you add them in. It says, the name of the property or value to use. Use around string. Oh, okay. That's good. As you see, 
it shows you that you have to use the quotation mark. It says use quotation mark around string. See, this uh, any version of uh, Blender is pretty self-explanatory, and that's how user-friendly and open source this program is. In fact, that well, it's free. And then you got OK, and then you got what do you mean? Now, all we have to do is play the game and see what we get. And this is how you can finally set up a dialogue tree in the Blender game engine. How are you doing? I don't know. What do you mean? I'm OK. That's good. I don't want to talk. OK. Now that's how you do it. I hope you find this video interesting. It was definitely interesting to make. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And yes, get inspired.